Alright guys, it is another day. Um, the garage got cleaned, this got built and sanded. Um, I did attempt doweling, so that's kind of cool. Gimli wants to play, and that's just normal. Um, so I brought it inside because it's cold outside, and I want to stain it um, so that we can actually finish it and put it into the laundry room. Yeah, we're gonna just get this stained real quick, um, let it, the stain dry um, overnight, maybe a couple days, it depends, it's not exactly warm in our house. So we'll do that, get this all fixed up, put the front facing on it, we talked about doing some molding of some sort on it, I don't know if that will actually happen. Um, and then, after, but after it's stained, before we do all that stuff, we will put a good solid layer of polyacrylic coating on it because polyacrylic has been like our go-to thing. We have learned that with polyacrylic, it takes our furniture making to a whole new level of finish. Um, so I highly recommend a water-based polyacrylic. Oh, and to keep with the theme of our house is we are using dark walnut stain. We use it on everything we really should just buy like it in five gallon buckets the way we go through it but by the time we do that we'd have all the furniture built and now and then it wouldn't matter so at this point we're still just buying the little jars of and i have finished my second project um that i was making for in the garage for the laundry room or in the laundry room and this is the project So why, what is it? Why did I build it? All right, let's look at it. All right, let's take off this and move it out. So obviously there was a here at one point in time and because this is a half bath. I don't know why, but um, we want the so we're going to sell the house eventually. We want to be able to make it a half bath again. But with a sink in here, that is not possible to have a sink and a working laundry machine or washing machine. So I built this to cover it up. So it's made out of scrap plywood, scrap tin, and um, then... I did actually try doweling here. It didn't go perfect, but it, it's holding together. And then at the bottom, I have some pieces just for extra support and stained it, um, put clear coat on it. And now I just, oh, and if you'll notice, down here is notched out to fit against the baseboard. just like that. We can keep our laundry detergent. Um, this is actually um, our homemade um, goat milk soap laundry detergent um, made with our goat milk soap and some other ingredients. And then like rags and stuff you can keep in here. Gimli's reindeer baby that needs to go back into the Christmas storage. Um, but yeah, so let me show you. So one of the problems, even with this, is when you open up the washing machine door, it's going to hit. It can't open all the way. Um, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. But that is what, that is what I've built for out here gonna do its job it looks so much better walking in there and walking into a sink um, yeah we're just gonna maybe put up some like pictures or something wall decor got a little bit of wall decor to go in there got some of my old signs in the window and yeah this room is basically actually complete now so I'm very, very thrilled about that. 
and on to that project. Alright guys, I if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me below. If you like this video, please subscribe, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, bye!